During his usual patrol through the forest, the ranger Frank and his loyal German shepherd were immersed in the typical calm of the surroundings. However, an unexpected silence caught his attention. As they approached a nest that was usually filled with birds, the dog stopped abruptly, sniffing the air with evident unease. Something was wrong. With his heart racing, Frank grabbed a ladder and quickly climbed up to check. When he looked inside the nest, his eyes widened. Without hesitation, he hurried down and called the police, trying to convey the seriousness of the situation. He knew that this was only the beginning of a larger mystery. Frank, an experienced ranger, walked the same route every day, always accompanied by his German shepherd, who helped him observe and protect the park. Although the routine was constant, he never ceased to be amazed by the small changes in nature, and his canine companion was always alert to any sign of danger. However, that day, as they approached that particular nest, both sensed that something sinister had occurred. The German shepherd suddenly stopped, tilting its head and sniffing the air with alertness. The silence around the nest, once filled with the sounds of birds, was an obvious anomaly. Frank remembered well the nest's appearance years ago and how he had followed its construction alongside the dog. But at that moment, the silence was oppressive. The dog circled the tree in a state of alertness, detecting something that Frank had yet to identify. Though the sounds of the forest could still be heard in the distance, everything around that tree was unusually quiet. There were no birds in sight, which was strange, as Frank usually saw them hopping near the nest, bringing branches to reinforce it. Cautiously, Frank and the German shepherd approached the tree, moving quietly so as not to startle the birds, if any were still there. The silence was almost suffocating, contrasting with the vibrant sound of wildlife that normally filled the area. Suddenly, Frank's radio emitted a call. On the other end, an anxious voice reported a fire outbreak at the north end of the park. The unexpected call took Frank by surprise. Without thinking much, he turned and ran in the indicated direction, with a German shepherd running by his side. When they arrived at the scene, Frank noticed there was no sign of smoke, fire, or any evidence of a blaze. He examined the area carefully, but everything seemed to be in perfect order. Confused, he frowned. Nothing made sense. Had it been a prank? And why would someone send a false alarm? As he walked back to the station, the feeling that something was wrong lingered. The memory of the eerily silent nest and the false fire alarm hovered in his mind, as if they were mysteriously connected in some way. Beside him, the German shepherd appeared restless, sharing the same sense of unease. Frank knew he couldn't ignore his intuition. The next day, determined to solve the mystery, Frank and the dog returned to the park. As they approached the tree again, Frank felt a chill. His German shepherd, usually calm, now sniffed the ground intensely around the area, circling as if following an invisible trail. Suddenly, the dog stopped and let out a low growl. Something strange had definitely happened there. Frank crouched down to examine the ground and noticed marks that didn't seem to belong to any common park animal. He considered the possibility of an unknown predator. The dog, ever vigilant, continued sniffing around the tree, as if tracking the scent of a recent presence. Determined to investigate further, Frank realized he would need specialized equipment to reach the nest and examine it more closely. When he finally looked inside the nest, a wave of surprise hit him. How is this possible, he murmured, almost losing his balance. The nest, usually solid and well-built, now showed a hole that certainly hadn't been made by a bird. Frank examined the nest more closely. It was empty of birds but not completely unoccupied. There was something inside that definitely didn't belong there. Without wasting any time, he quickly climbed down the ladder, took out his phone, and called the police. What he had discovered in the nest was too disturbing to handle alone. However, on the other end of the line, the response was indifferent. The police suggested it was probably an animal or a natural peculiarity, assuring him it wasn't a matter for a police investigation. Frustrated by not being taken seriously, Frank knew he would have to act on his own. 
Carefully, he began to take notes and photographs of everything that caught his attention, meticulously documenting every detail. Back at the office, Frank carefully organized his notes and photos on the table, trying to connect the dots. That was when he noticed something in the photos that he had overlooked during his initial inspection. A strange pattern in the markings near the base of the tree, almost completely covered by vegetation. Curious, Frank decided to return immediately to the site for a closer investigation. Upon arriving back at the area, he and his German shepherd carefully examined the ground around the base of the tree. Guided by the German shepherd's keen sense of smell, he spotted new subtle markings on the bark of the tree, indicating the use of tools. These markings, which he wouldn't have noticed without the dog's help, made it clear that something more was happening. Quickly, Frank documented everything, feeling his adrenaline rise as each new discovery raised more questions. Alongside his loyal German shepherd, who remained alert, Frank called on some police friends to plan a carefully designed operation to investigate the illegal activities in the area. The team set out discreetly, ready to catch the suspects. As they made their way through the forest, Frank noticed that the path had been deliberately altered. Branches and bushes blocked the way, as if someone wanted to delay them. Tension mounted as they approached the nest. Suddenly, a man stepped out of the shadows and blocked their path. You should have stopped investigating. Now it's too late, he murmured with a threatening look. Frank realized that the note he had received a week ago was not just a warning but a real threat. The German shepherd growled, ready to act, and before the man could do anything, the police team subdued him. Soon, they discovered he was not alone. Other traffickers, hidden among the trees, tried to flee but were quickly captured by the police, who had already surrounded the area. With the criminals detained, the team began to examine the evidence. Among the branches of the nest, they found large eggs from rare and non-native species, confirming that the site was being used as a storage point for animal trafficking. Subsequent investigations revealed that the park was part of an international animal trade network, where traffickers used the area to hide eggs from protected species before selling them on the black market. This practice not only endangered the local ecosystem but also threatened the region's biodiversity. Frank and his German Shepherd story became an example of hope and environmental protection, inspiring others to join the cause of preserving nature. What did you think of this story? Like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.